Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. I know a lot of people don't like clowns, and I don't have a particular love for clowns either, but there is one clown who I think is better than all the rest combined, Puddles from Puddles Pity Party. And today we're going to listen to him sing about party girls and chandeliers. And if you don't like at least one clown by the end of this video, there really may be no hope left for you. <laughs> Let's get to it. Party girls don't get hurt, can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down. I'm the one for a good time, call phones blowing up, ringing my doorbell. I feel the love, feel the love. One, two, three, 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 drink. Throw them back till I lose count. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier, from the chandelier. I'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist, like it doesn't exist. I'm holding <sighs> He's so immediately engaging. This is one of the things I love about Puddles. It's how invested 100% he is in his character. It's the physical mannerisms and the vocal mannerisms. It's everything about it. It's such a complete transformation. Incredible, incredible to see. This arrangement is also so very good. I love the work that Postmodern Jukebox does. They they bring so much creativity and a great way of bringing a new twist into a sound and they're amazing in live concert. Can vouch, have seen them. Wow, I, I wanna go back to the beginning and talk about all of these vocal moments that are extraordinary and maybe a couple more in the arrangement too. Uh, let's go back and let's do some analysis. Party girls don't get hurt, can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down. <laughs> so a lot of times his hand movements are a little subtle, but because we're so zoomed in, we really notice them. And additionally, this starts off right away where he is singing and immediately has that intensity. I think it's very difficult to start a song right at the very first moment and be in it. And he does that amazingly successfully well here. It's it's such a quick start. Wow, even that gaze at the beginning. Party girls don't get hurt, can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down. I'm the one for a good time, call phones blowing up, ringing my doorbell. I feel the love, feel the love. When he goes up to the higher notes in this range, which they're actually pretty low right now, considering the overall range, but when he goes up to the higher notes in, in here, he's going up in a really like floaty, soft way that almost feels like he's just riding a little bit of air up there. It's, uh, it's almost an afterthought. I love that phrasing on this. I also really enjoy the choice of using pizzicato in the strings here. Um, they've got sort of a dancey feel already going in this arrangement. Pizzicato is when people pluck on strings instead of bowing, right? So this plucking feeling uh, gives it more levity, but then <laughs> you have so much uh, sadness and a moroseness in Puddle's expression. It's a fantastic contrast, one more time. Party girls don't get hurt, can't feel anything. When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down. <laughs> I'm the one for a good time call for. I just want to call the way he suddenly drops all tension, like he just feels suddenly let down there. For some reason, every time I've seen that so far, it really catches me and I feel like it 
It's another one of those tiny details that immediately takes you into his character. Right, right there, right? I'm the one for a good time, <laughs> call phones blowing up, ringing my doorbell. I feel the love, feel the love. A bit of frying there was really nice. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, Jake. One, two, three, one, two, three, Jake. Throw them back till I lose count. <laughs> <laughs> it has a, a certain desperation in this one, two, three, one, two, three drink. In Sia's version of it, you you know that there's desperation behind it. Her voice is so powerful and so present. Amazing, amazing voice, I think. Um, and it's so interesting to hear him on this one, two, three drink have this almost feeling like he's going to cave in on himself. Ultimately, this is about um, someone who is partying up, living the life so to say, but that there's some sort of emptiness inside. You get that idea from tears flowing that are dried because they're swinging from a chandelier. You know that there's something that's empty and missing. And and the way he's seeing these one, two, threes, you, I know already that there's a sort of craze about it. And he's making these little hand motions too down. Um, and <laughs> I like the way he brought that expression in already. Oh, this is really good. Till I lose count I am gonna swing From the chandelier From the chandelier I am gonna live Like tomorrow doesn't exist Like it doesn't exist I am gonna fly Like a bird through the night Feel my tears as they Oh, really pretty counter harmony there in the strings too. Uh, I, it makes sense that you would bring in this full sound, the full bow from the string, and, and we're also having a lot more filling out with the drums and piano as well um, as we get into this chorus. This is so rangy, right? We start low, we go up high. And one of the things that I think is fascinating about listening to Sia sing it is she purposely relies on her break to flip over and makes a big difference at one point between essentially a lower register and a higher register. He's keeping it all, um, not flipping into falsetto at all. And he has so much depth in the sound and the timbre. There's a, a definite sadness that's in there. Uh, but at the same time, he's got beautiful clarity on his tone. He uses a ton of slides. So I think that in particular, one of his vocal mannerisms as Puddles are these really big slides. And we'll go back and catch a few of those in the chorus. Uh, maybe a little further back, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Ah, he's sliding, sliding totally off of that. <laughs> it's like, he barely touches it before he starts to slide. <laughs> and live is the same thing. Tons of sliding on live. Wow. I'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist. Like it doesn't exist. I'm you don't exist. He does a slide off of it there as well. Okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna fly Lots like of sides. A bird through the night. Feel my tears as they dry. Chandelier. I'm holding on for dear life. Won't look down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass fill until morning light. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. Help me, I'm holding on for dear life. Won't look down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass fill until morning light. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. The sun is up. Oh, that's such a cool pause there. His eye contact is extraordinary. I think um, ha maintaining that much eye contact steadily in a camera for some people will make it start to feel creepy, but it makes it feel really on point, probably with the clown uh, character. That's part of what works, I think. I, uh, 
I feel so much sincerity in this performance for being a clown. It has so much message behind it, right? You really believe that he's holding on for a dear life in this instance. The delivery of the words in the lower part, um, he has clear rhythm that is there, but the way that he's almost speaks, singing them at times, he, you can tell that he has the structure of the rhythm, but he's 100% willing to make it feel more natural and flowy. And that's part of what makes it so sincere to us. If we take a piece of sheet music and we just learn the rhythm that's on the sheet music, which most classical trained musicians will um, learn that rhythm from sheet music. If we do that, it can sound a bit robotic at times. So when we get the words in with it, you have to think about the natural emphasis of the words. And then you might elongate one note a little bit longer than maybe it says on the sheet music. And then the ones that are naturally shorter in speech, you make those a little bit shorter as well. This kind of play in the speech uh, helps us deliver the text better to the audience and also makes it feel a little bit more real and sincere. I'm gonna go back here. Cause I'm just keep my further. Down, won't open my wow. Keep my glass fill until morning light. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. Help me, I'm holding on for dear life. Won't look down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass full until morning light. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. Sun is up. I'm a mess, gotta get up now. <laughs> that pause is beautiful. The way that he holds it, the way that you have the musicians hold it as well. It's just so perfect. My eyes, keep my glass full until morning light. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. Sun is up. Wow. I'm a mess, gotta get out now. Gotta run from this. Here comes the shame, here comes the shame. One, two, three, one, two, three, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. Back till I lose count. Hi. Oh my gosh. I thought it was real before, and the way his voice started to break a little on shame. Wow. The intensity of this is insane. <laughs> Gotta go back again. Whew. I'm a mess. Gotta get out now. Gotta run from this. Here comes the shame, here comes the shame. Wow. One, two, three, one, two, three, two. <laughs> this is, it is so much more important to have expression in your voice than it is to make a pretty sound or sing the perfect pitch. Listen to this on one, two, three. He's not singing the right pitch there because the voice is breaking and it's communicating the immense sadness and shame that he's feeling. That is perfect. That is what singing needs to be. It's just expression, communication of emotion. Show them back till I lose count. I am gonna swing from the chandelier. I am fascinated by the way he's cutting off words as well. Often you'll see a little jerk to cut them off. Um, almost like uh, there's there's something that costs him in cutting off a sound. And maybe there's something that costs him in making a sound as well. The Puddles doesn't speak. He only sings, right? Um, he... I know I've seen him write messages before instead of speaking them. So either you sing or you write. Uh, so I wonder what that cost is now to puddles to sing. There are, are times when it feels like maybe it, it just wasn't possible to contain the emotion anymore. And so he has to sing. This character development is insane. Uh, wow. <laughs> 
the chandelier. Right there, that cut off. I'm gonna live like tomorrow doesn't exist, like it doesn't exist. I'm gonna fly like a bird through the night, through my tears as they dry. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. I'm just holding on for dear life. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't think I could handle this much drama in most performances. In opera, yes. I like I like drama in opera particularly. But if this person was not dressed up in a character, right, I think we would think it's just way too much. However, Something about him being in character and being a clown allows him to take the drama way further, which feels more real in this instance, right? I feel like he's bringing a deeper, um, sort of prying open some of Sia's words and really getting into the meat of them even more. It's like almost like they were stripped away and now we understand really truly how desperate this person is. <laughs> it's really awesome. Right. Right. If you saw anybody else doing those motions and this kind of expression, you would probably say, mm, they overdid it. But not now, right? This, it totally works. It works for him to be into this drama more and then it works to deliver that to us so that we have a new understanding of the song. I really like it. Just holding on for dear life Won't look down, won't open my eyes Keep my glass full until morning light Cause I'm just holding on for tonight Help me, I'm holding on for dear life Won't look down, won't open my eyes Keep my glass full until morning light Cause I'm just holding on for tonight I'm just holding on for dear life Ah, that's got, got my, my blood boiling. Right there, he did an octave jump in there where he went up higher. Again, very rangy song. He was super smart about the way he gathered the chords up there um, to keep it uh, keep it focused in the sound. He didn't just blow it apart, which is really really good. The um, the way that his mannerisms are showing sort of a devolving inside um, of just sort of this disintegration. It's really amazing to get to see and then hear how that's echoed vocally. You hear so much pleading in the voice. Oh, I'm, I'm the chandelier. I'm just holding on for dear life. I love the way he elongates the S on just. I'm just holding on for dear life. <laughs> won't look down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass full until morning light. Wow. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. Help me, I'm holding on for dear life. We're gonna pull back a, a little bit on this again. This is so fascinating to me. He starts to sound a little bit like meatloaf as he goes on. And the intensity of the emotion builds. And again, we start to obscure the exact pitches a little bit. So it ends up just being a flow of emotion that's hitting you more than a perfect, pretty, wonderfully pitched sound, right? We're getting emotion that is more important than even a pitch. Won't look down, won't open my eyes. Keep my glass full until morning light. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. Help me, I'm holding on for dear life. I think it's the way he tosses off the end and does these slides 
especially when he's becoming more and more involved in it. That reminds me a little bit of Meatloaf there. And it's also the power behind it. And even like a little bit of vocal shake that happens. That was so much more intense than I thought it was going to be. I feel shaken. Uh, I feel like weird after goosebumps, if that makes sense. The delivery at the end and the build and then the sudden drop off, I totally did not expect. Whoa, I feel so much for Puddles. He is able to relate this emotion and and I feel it's just so human. Wow. Uh, brilliant, brilliant performance. I absolutely adore Postmodern Jukebox and what they do. I think it's incredible. Love, love, love their arrangements. So if you haven't done a dig into them and really analyzed their music before, I invite you to do that with me. You can check out this playlist over here. Again, love Postmodern Jukebox, love Puddles. We should absolutely be analyzing their music and listening to it way more. I'll see you guys somewhere soon.